how Chinese Communist Party is responsible for the Holocaust that is happening in North Korea. And if you have $2,000, you can rescue one person. You can save a one life. You can give another chance of life to someone like me and let them be free. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Yanmi Park. I'm a North Korean defector, human rights activist. Today in this video, I'm going to do another long request video about how to help North Koreans. So many of you have asked this question and I'm so grateful that you want to help. There are two main ways and number one is about raising awareness. And especially not just about the poverty that exists, the oppression that exists in North Korea, but the part how Chinese Communist Party is responsible for the Holocaust that is happening in North Korea. Kim Jong-un cannot even survive one day without Chinese regime support. However, Chinese regime continued to sponsor this dictatorship and oppressing 25 million innocent North Korean lives. Unfortunately, in the mainstream media, they do not want to talk about these facts. A lot of business have interest to go into China, especially the Hollywood. I have been trying my best to raise awareness this issue, but whenever I did, I was not this message didn't get out. So I'm trying this new way on my YouTube channel to get you know why North Korea is the way that it is. It's not because, I mean, of course Kims are evil, but the enabler of them is a Chinese Communist Party in the behind the scene. We need to talk about this so they can, the Chinese regime, stop sponsoring Kim Jong-un and also stop the most barbaric act called like repatriation of North Korean defectors. When North Koreans escape to China, normally like 90-90% of them, it has to be it has to be China because the DMZ to you know to South Korea very long big far across from Japan and of course Russia is not a really good choice to go either. Most of them end up in China and what they do, they usually get persecuted by Chinese regime. The women get sold as a human I mean as a like human slaves and men also be sold and be beaten and tortured. If Chinese regime stops sending North Korean defectors in China and help them to go to South Korea, that will really help these movements. The thing that we are asking, as North Koreans are asking from China, is not even like accept us as refugees, or give us status, and none of that. We don't even want to stay in China. Can you just don't catch us so we can safely go to South Korea, the country wants to accept us? Not only South Korea are willing to accept North Korean defectors, Australia, a lot of Western European countries, I mean Japan, USA, Canada, England, so many countries are willing to accept North Korean defectors. So all China needs to do is not catching us, not even giving us help, just not catching us, let us go our way. How is that too much to ask? You know, they, China keeps saying, oh, if North Korea crumbles, it's going to be a problem because there are going to be influx of refugees. Like, seriously, China, like, we do not want to be in China. We want to go to other countries and we have a country to go, which is South Korea, the, our country that the South Korea constitution says that we, anyone born in Korean Peninsula, including North Korea, that is automatically South Korean citizen. So in a way that the China, when they send North Koreans back to their country, means they are also you know, committing a crime in South Korean constitution because we are automatically South Korean citizens. The second way how you can help North Koreans is getting involved with the nonprofits. Not the ones, I mean, there are really good ones around the world, but especially the ones in South Korea. A lot of North Korean defectors have this amazing these nonprofits they are running in South Korea, but they do not speak English, so their messages don't get out. Right now, you know, these main three big categories that these non NGOs are tackling. Number one is rescue mission. They rescue North Koreans from China to freedom. They take them to USA, Canada, England, South Korea. And if you have two thousand dollars, you can rescue one person. You can save a one life. You can give another chance of life to someone like me and let them be free. That is one way. Those are NGOs that exist. And second way is about getting information inside North Korea. As I always talked about, when people ask why there's no revolution in North Korea, 
And I would say like, if you don't know you're a slave, how do you fight to be free? And that has been the truth for North Korean people. They did not know they were isolated and they did not know they were oppressed. There is no even words for oppression in North Korea. There's no words for freedom, human rights, oppression, love, I mean liberty. This kind of concept doesn't exist. It's like reading, if you read 1984 by George Orwell, it talks about double speak, new language. That's what North Korea did to the North Korean people. They created this new language and eliminated a lot of words so we people don't even are able to understand the concept. To, to awake North Koreans, their minds, so they can start to fight for their rights is like letting them know how the world works and how what is the truth. And getting information is so crucial because the North Korean people are gonna see this information and wake up from this uh, you know, this oppression they've been experiencing for the last 70 years. And the last one is, you know, it's not as like dramatic as rescue or getting information, but just a lot of volunteering work for these NGOs as a staff member. You can help them with the translation. And also there's a wonderful NGO that I know that helps teaching North Korean defectors English in South Korea. So if you are just English speaker, you don't have money to give or time to anything, you can just be a volunteer and teaching them English. English is such an important language to speak in order to do the, any kind of activism because you know, unfortunately uh, when they don't speak English, they don't know really what's happening and they don't know even how to share their stories. So you know, teaching them English is going to give them the tool to have their voice and speaking out like myself, become an activist. I really hope that this video helped you to how to get involved. I mean, I can give you the in the details section which NGOs are doing this kind of work. It's your choice. I don't personally work with them. I partner with them. I do know what they are doing in general and I try to talk to them all. But it's not like I'm in the organization. So I really hope that you choose your nonprofit today that you want to support and get involved to free North Koreans with me. I'm so grateful that for your care and how much people, ordinary people care about justice and another human and that really restores my faith in humanity. Thank you guys again for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you all next time.